for presenting the anthem today is Stacy Coleman, a junior at Rockford High School. Third, isn't it? That 
Donovan running third and fourth. Um. Oh no, that's East Kid. Well, either do body. <laughs> <laughs> we just saw one of the most exciting races ever at a Michigan high school track and field final, and we're with the coach. We saw Grant Fisher run 1,604 minutes and something, something flat, and we have his coach. So, Mike Scannell, tell us a little bit about what you saw when you watched that race today. Well, um, we came out here to run aggressively, which the weather fairly cooperated with us, so that was good. Um, and the conditions actually were okay. Uh, we planned on running aggressively from the gun today, which Grant did. Um, going out there on his own uh, tended to kind of wear on him a little bit. I wish there was a little bit more company out there for at least a little while. There's some really good kids in the field. So There were. Yeah, the field is fen phenomenal, but to go out in 58 <laughs> or 59, I think he went out in about 59 seconds, you know, you really have to know I'm running hard from the gun. And we did that today. Grant did that. And uh, he looked great. It was fun to watch. The crowd got into it. It was really <laughs> special to watch. I know he ran four flat point two or something, but, um, you know, what a phenomenal experience to be out here and to have that in his senior year, his last race in his grand blank uniform. Well, he's got one more. I shouldn't say that last race. What's, um, what, oh, what's he going to do next? He's going to run the 3200 in about one hour. Oh, wow. Okay. But this, this, is, this is the one in which it shines. This, this, both fields are very good today. Yeah. Um, Ryan Robinson, Ben Hill is in the next field. They're very good athletes, yeah. and they were uh, very good in cross country as well. So the 3200 will be as competitive. Um, but as you see, the the real the target here today was to go really hard in the 1600 right from the gun, and he did that. So. 
we have to tell our viewers we first met you maybe 11 years ago when you were a Michigan Runner of the Year. So you, you've got a new career uh, bringing along some new Michigan Runners of the Year. Yeah, Grant, um, <laughs> I'm happy to report Grant just broke the state record uh, today, but the kid that had it last I coached as well. So that was nice. So, oh, okay. Omar Kadura had it. And oh, that's right. Yes, and I coached Omar when he got the record here a couple of years ago, like four or five. There's good water in Grand Blanc and good coaching too. <laughs> <laughs> Something's going on. What's going to happen at the national level? Well, this kind of kicks off Grant's outdoor season, basically. So now he's got a couple of races coming up in the next couple of weeks, and it will culminate um, at the latest in, at juniors. Okay, so that's a pretty exciting summer season. I bet it gets warmer weather. We hope it gets a little bit warmer weather and, you know, the, the crowds up front get a little deeper and a little more stacked. So it's not, you know, he was a ran alone today, but, you know, the next couple of races will not be so solo effort. But th those are actually better for faster times, aren't they? Yes, absolutely. You can relax in the group. There's not enough, men there's not enough mental energy getting put out early in the, the event, which is key to running fast at the end of the event. Well, Mike, congratulations. It was fun watching that today. Thank you very much. You're we'll welcome. See you day. Great.
first of three finalists in this four by 200 meter relay, Davis and Midland, Muskegon, Wesley, John Glenn, and Ford, Huron, and Anchor Bay. Kendrick Wesley, with their umbrellas up.